How are you doing? Welcome to the first video of 2022. Yes, I was like the last time I was in front of the camera was last year in November. So I'm feeling a bit nervous right now. <laughs> and as you can tell, there's like a difference because I have on a headband wig, which I bought in December and I'm loving it. I am loving it. I got it on AliExpress. I thought it was like with a headband and like some extra stuff. It just came in this bag and then that was it. So I'm like, and as much as the hair is nice, I don't think I'm going to buy from the vendor again because of like, it was just like this and it was a bit open. So I got home yesterday and I shampooed it and put conditioner on it and it's nice. I think it's a water wave. I look, I look for all the details. Let me just explain. <laughs> so I almost cut my hair this month in January because in yeah my hair started flaking my scalp was just itching and it was painful and I was like you know what I am tired of trying to nurse my scalp because like I just feel like it's too much but as I was twisting my hair the following day I was like this is like so much length that I have gained Am I really ready to let it go? And I was like, you know what, the wig is coming. Yes, it's gonna work in my favor whether I cut my hair or not. But I feel like now that I have it on, I can catch a breather and just let my hair flourish underneath without putting too much stress on it. Because right now I have amagodo, like ama pon twist. Okay, what do you call amagodo in English? Not twists, but I have like braids underneath. I just braided my hair, and luckily. This didn't come with a wig cap even. So luckily, this I got when I bought the blue hair piece from Cosmetic Connections and it came with a wig cap. So luckily, I didn't send it away or throw that wig cap away. So I have it underneath and then I just have this hair. I got this hair from Mr. Roller and it's 12 inches. It's a Brazilian deep wave handbag, human hair 100%. Um, they said that it's a natural color Remy hair curly wig 150 density So you guys know more than I do about all of this. So for, for me, I was just testing it out So here is the wig. I thought it would come with this like headband over here, but it didn't and the cap doesn't have any combs in it and like the the band is too big for my hair so it's a struggle to tie it at the back but i made it work and it's fine so the hair is very lightweight the curls are beautiful i like the wet look on like these type of wigs and i tried it yesterday it's it's beautiful i'll show you like in the videos to come yeah but there was that and i paid 500 and something i searched under free shipping so the shipping was free i don't remember how exact how much exactly i paid but it was 500 and something it wasn't that bad because i was also not willing to pay but my like 800 to a thousand for hair i was like i'm not ready <laughs> so this 500 rand will do and i you know what you get what you pay for and for me this is a bargain because this is really really Nice. Well, for 2022, I've been doing like a lot of planning and it's just I've been writing down a lot of goals and then looking back at what I achieved last year. And so I just want to share a bit of my vision board from last year. I think I did mine late Jan, early Feb last year. And I had two, one on my phone and another one on my laptop. I didn't put in like big things i just put in small things like small things that i knew would contribute to my sense of achievement for the year because let's be honest last year was a challenging year for many people so i just put things that i've been procrastinating to do for years i was like okay this year let me just get these small things that to me or to people might feel small let me just put them there and get them over and done with and see like how I go. So we're going to start with the one on my cell phone that I used as a wallpaper on my cell phone. And as I'm looking at it now, I can see so it's similar to the one on my laptop. So I'm going to put both, both of them up just to show you guys how you can play around with it. So I'm going to start with the first lady at the top who's just wearing 
nice she's she's dressed nicely and that was one of my goals for the year just to improve my dress style and improve my closet so last year i did manage to clean up my closet and add new items of which i was happy with i I'm comfortable now in my style and I am comfortable in exploring my options and taking risks in terms of paying a higher price for clothing items because in the past I used to always show for bargains but now I challenged myself to just go into different shops and try out a few items and see if you can get gems from from those stores and it worked out well for me i wanted also a home office on the second frame the chair that is there is exactly the chair that i bought although i'm not using it like it's this one that i put the the rug on is a rug or you left for what what <laughs> so i managed to sort out my home office although i did have to change the look a lot now it's perfect it's the way i want it to be with the space that i'm in i'm content let me be honest i'm not happy but i'm content because i have my rack i have my gym space and my filming setup is good so i'm happy about that i also wanted to start a perfume collection which i started last year in ar around april i think if i'm not mistaken so i did achieve that a perfume collection it is growing i am like wow i <laughs> Just wow, um, it does happen. Light blue, the reason why I put light blue alone was because I really wanted to buy it and I actually managed to buy it eventually, which I am happy with. I wanted a new camera, but I didn't exactly get a camera because I was confused on what I wanted was it a phone a camera or a lens and I ended up getting a lens so the whole point of me putting a camera there was to remind myself or to remind or to reignite the desire to get a better camera set up the lens that I had was very noisy and the one that I had now like it's very very silent which for me it works out well because it's been a struggle and then in terms of gym i don't exactly want to strictly go back to gymming or exercising i just wanted to do the basic just get the stuff have it around me and do a little bit here and this just so that i can remind my body of gym and just get the desires working again so that i can actually start um going going back slowly into exercising so i just have a few quotes one is that i have the power to create the life i desire and passion plus consistency equals success and then the last well the one in the corner with the building and the view um the one on my laptop shows it clearly i just wanted to visit places where there's a view like i wanted to be on the top floor with floor to ceiling windows and overlooking the city or any other beautiful views and i had the beautiful opportunity in feb to book a place in rosebank and the view was amazing the place was beautiful and i also went to monte casino the view was not of anything that much but it was still a photo ceiling and then in december we went to zimbali which the place was so beautiful i didn't get to vlog because it was a work thing so i didn't want to invade people's privacy <laughs> but it was just beautiful so that i was more than happy with how that um vision turned out okay the lady again just since fashion so wow <laughs> sense of style improved closet and then I have a black bag. I really wanted a black, small black purse or bag just to carry around. And I got it. The one I bought from Woolworths. It was, it was amazing. And then, that's just it. So it's just to give an idea of, it doesn't have to be something big. Like I want to be a millionaire. I want to have 10,000 subscribers. But I didn't want that. I just didn't want to put pressure on myself. I just wanted to appreciate the very small things that we desire, but we let go of them because of circumstances or we just procrastinate, but they bother us here and there. I just wanted to get rid of those things. I didn't want any regrets. I just I just wanted to, <laughs> to take a risk and just go. So for this year, I already did my vision board. I just 
did the same thing the one on my laptop is the one on my wallpaper on my phone and i'm not gonna share it because privacy and i just want to honor that privacy with my vision and i'm just gonna see it at the end of the year <laughs> this video is longer than i thought it would be but another exciting thing uh, that i am very proud of like i'm proud of myself for taking this step i actually started therapy I this year I was like I had this small voice in me that reminded me that I need to start therapy I've been thinking about it over the years but I was too embarrassed and I was just procrastinating and I was just too fearful to actually go see a therapist so this time around I just had a push when the year started I don't know where that push came from I feel like it was the stress at work at home with the, my whole living situation and like everything that I, was, I felt under pressure and i felt like i was going back into that dark place that i was in in 2014 and i didn't want to go back there so i just had this small voice in me to just do it i didn't tell anyone i didn't ask for advice i just i just searched for therapists in pretoria and as far away from <laughs> people and i was like you know what i'm gonna get this go there i'm just i'm gonna i'm just gonna see what happens in the first session and take it from there and it went well i really have a lot to talk about like i'm such a quiet and reserved person that when i spoke to her for the first time it's a female by the way when i spoke it's a black female i don't know if that's important but i when i spoke to her i had so much to talk about at the end i was like wow more than an hour i had like passed and i was like what the hell i've been bottling up so many things and i feel like i didn't speak enough so i'm gonna be having my second session next month and I wrote down a lot of things. Like, I have so much to talk about. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like it's embarrassing, but I shouldn't be embarrassed. I know I shouldn't be embarrassed because this is a step that I'm taking to healing. Like, a part of myself. To just being serious about healing myself. I'm just, I'm proud. Like, I am proud about seeing a therapist. It was such a big task that I needed to do for a long time. And I'm glad i finally did it like i did it so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be sharing my progress because i just want it to be something that is personal and i know last year some of you asked me to share my journey with my depression but i was not comfortable talking about it because i haven't figured it out i was still struggling whenever there's a trigger i just I struggle to talk about it and I actually told my therapist that whenever I talk about what I struggle with or about my problems I feel very petty and stupid I feel like <laughs> I'm wasting people's time why am I talking about it which is not right so once I work through it I think then I'm gonna try and talk about it but I was not comfortable talking about it not that I don't want to I just feel like I don't know I don't know I don't know it's just um i'm not comfortable not in a bad way but i'm just not comfortable so this was meant to be a short video by the way it's just me coming back say hi i can see that it's gonna be longer than i anticipated it to be but anyway thank you for watching and all the best for the year and all the best to me also and we're just grateful for life and for health and for the strength to just keep going despite i'm a challenge if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you again in another one bye